Sorry about that guys, um, uh, slight technical difficulties with the storage in my camera, um, I ran out of room. But, as I was saying, I have this, and I also have a pop filter that I purchased along with it, but, and, um, another unboxing after this of a mic stand, so, this is, this is a pain in the dick, I don't like that they have this perfectly like you know doesn't come off these edges of the case like I'm trying here it doesn't do things that I need to do um I don't know how I did this last time like I said I did open this one already I got excited it took me about 20 minutes to open it so my girlfriend did definitely have a good recommendation here and push it down now this on the back side of the box it kind of just gives you the specs um uh let's see this is a one inch true condenser sensitivity 20 mvpa negative 32 dp uh, dbv now, guys, I don't know the fucking terminology of all these things. I just, you know, I was looking for a good one. I saw this one. This one was, a, you know, not the cheapest, but, you know, kind of good price range for my budget for what I'm doing right now. And I knew I, I wanted a condensing microphone that seems to be better for a studio setup. So I figured I'd get that instead of a dynamic um, now, this one, it was between this and, uh, AKG, um, something else, but, it, it was identical to this, this was one up from it, I chose this one, I think it cost me around a hundred and fifty dollars? So in other words, it's a cheap microphone. Um, not expecting like the best quality out of it, but I hear AKG is a good brand, and you know, hopefully one day they'll sponsor me because you know I'm doing you know unboxings of their shit. And this is not paid, you know, sponsorships, guys. I'm just unboxing because I'm excited, dude. I want to get some content up. I want to start actually doing this and. You know, I think it's cool. I don't get it, man. It don't come. There it is. All right. Sorry, guys. I know you just saw my meltdown there. Couldn't figure it out. All right. So you get it. Comes like this little box. I like this. It's kind of cool because you know, once it's out of box, you kind of could, you know, rip out the foam and. Turn it into something else if you really wanted to. But now what this comes with, it comes with the balancer. Not the balancer. Um, the shock absorber, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I don't know the terminology of this stuff, guys. I didn't go to school to be a musician or anything like that. I just, you know, I grew up. My brother Mark plays guitar. I, uh... I was rapping for a little bit. I play acoustics every now and then, try and get better. And one thing that I put down that I wanted to pick back up was the rapping ordeal and, you know, singing and all that. Um, it would probably just spin if I kept doing that because there's actually a little knob at the bottom that spins with it to tighten it. I guess kind of. Put it like that and tighten it. So it's in the front, maybe. Now, I'm sure this would be re adjusted when it comes to trying to put it on the stand and which way I'll be using it. But it's uh, pretty straightforward. It actually is neat because it does have this little uh, ring which is an adapter for, say, a smaller thread, like, 
you know, if you don't have an average microphone stand, maybe this could fit on, um, you know, like a camera tripod in a sense. I'm sure, that's what this is for. But now, luckily, I could retire something. This beast that I used for like every track I ever put out. And when I say put out, meaning I recorded from a YouTube beat and put on a SoundCloud or Reverb Nation, something in that Quiter criteria, yeah, something like that, so one of those words. Um, this was that pop filter I was telling you guys about, I bought, um, actually for this condensing microphone, like I said, I had it open, so this condenser microphone does fit on the blue snowball little tripod here and it's simple we just unscrew this snowball if it ever comes on done all right but guys in all honesty this was not a bad microphone for free. I mean, it definitely did its purpose of, you know, wannabe guy that, you know, it it, it did its did its purpose. I want to say it's professional, but I'm sure you could get a professional sound out of it if you use the right equipment. So, that's that. I don't know why I took that off, because I have something else to show you guys. Um, this one is an MG, uh, sorry, MG100B. And it's a guitar center find, and I think I paid... 20 bucks for this now this is just a regular boom microphone stand nothing special about it just the upright like I said you know debating on how far I take this will be that's that's kind of disappointing okay so I was under the impression that this would come with a traditional um, you know, mic holder for like a dynamic microphone, but it doesn't, but it does have the wire clip to keep it all organized. I'm going to try to open this up and show you guys. But frankly, I got to figure out how. Okay. Okay, guys, so. Don't mind the mess I got, but this is, you know, traditional. In my opinion, it doesn't get no plainer than this. Other than the straight uprights. But this is it. Alright. Oh, and another purchase I just got. This little ring light. A little Amazon special. I think it was maybe fifteen dollars and it has different adjustments to the light it's like fifteen um brightnesses so sure plenty enough there and uh 
I guess that's all I have to unbox, guys. I mean, I want to get more in depth with my uh, setup I got going here, but I feel like that should be another video in its own, considering that this is already going on over 15 minutes long. So, um, till next time, guys, just uh, send feedback. Let me know what you think about this and, you know, if uh, there's anything I could improve on. I'm sorry, my voice is my voice. I'll try to talk deeper for you guys if that's a problem. But, <laughs> anyway. And sorry for the baby hiccups in the background. But, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys think of, you know, the gear I got for, you know, first home studio in a sense. And, oh, I, I didn't want to leave this out. I wanted to s say this is, this is why I chose with the black and red. Because I have a little Akai Mini MK, MPK Mini MK2, I believe. I think it's this 2. Maybe not. Maybe this is the first one. Do I have the second one? Huh. I don't know what I have anymore. I want to say this is the second. I thought I would have it on there. Anyway. Like I said. I'm still trying to learn off with this. Um, I, I've been trying to use it on... You know, FL Studios, but again, you gotta know how to use FL Studios to really work this thing. So, if you got any tips on this shit, let me know. Um, anyway, that's the video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked it. Uh, like, comment, share, laugh at me. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, <laughs> take it easy, have a good night, and... Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the music alive. If you think you don't have enough to do it, like I said, I got a bunch of stuff for free at one time. And it worked just as good, at, I would feel, as this stuff would. Yeah, I fell off, but hopefully I'm back. Till next time, guys. Peace.